Hey, we're Emily and Danny, and we have been traveling by van for four years, all the way from Alaska down here to Puerto Montt, Chile, with our cat Graham and our dog Sombrita. We are preparing to get into the next country, Argentina. Woo, woo, woo. And the first step is the pet paperwork because sometimes it takes a couple of days. So we figure we'll get that done. We'll go and have some fun and we'll come back and pick it up and cross the border. We headed over to the agriculture office to see what we needed. Now we know that it's like the same thing as every other border, just the rabies vaccine and a health certificate. I did read that you needed a microchip for Argentina. So we got some Brito one, but I guess you actually don't need a microchip. But it's okay, you need one for the US anyways. And I'm glad she has a microchip. So we're gonna head over to the vet and get this health certificate done for the two little chickens. So we dropped off all the paperwork for the pets at the government office and now we have to wait a couple days until uh, we can pick that back up. We still haven't gotten water since the last time we saw you guys so we're trying to get water now. Oh Danny's coming back with some water now. We have to wait a couple days before picking up a paperwork again, so we're going to head out onto a ferry over to an island. But it's already getting late, so we won't be able to see much today. Tomorrow we'll be able to check out this beautiful new place. You can hardly tell, but we're on the ferry right now, and I'm already super impressed with this Chilean ferry system. There was one ferry that filled up, he just waved us down, and there was another one waiting already. And the guy just comes right to your window. You pay easy debit psh, while you're on the ship already. Amazing, you know? I kind of wish we were gonna explore more of these Chilean ferries down here. We're in the Puerto Montt area, which is pretty much the south end of all the roads. So, you know, it seems like they really take it seriously, these ferries as part of the transportation system. And Chile's doing a great job. Gotta hand it to them on this one. Might cook us up some food while we're sitting on a boat. On this boat ride, we're serving fresh orange juice and fries. Use some Danny fries. Ooh, Danny fries, my favorite. Those are for sharing. No. <laughs> <laughs> so while we eat these boat fries, I want to let you guys know that the van is running pretty well. There's a couple broken things, you know. The mirror, mostly. Yeah, the mirror at freeway speeds folding in. That is a hassle. <laughs> because we just drove for seven hours down here and the whole time, whenever we wanted to switch lanes, we had to reach our hand out the window, open it. So yeah, I think we'll probably call it a night because driving at night and whatnot, but uh, hopefully we'll be over here at a campground where Emily can get to work in. There'll be a bathroom, a shower and all that. And then we'll get to go to that epic, epic camp spot. Good morning. Good morning. We're not at the spot we thought we would be. No. <laughs> First off, Google Maps rerouted us to a completely different place. Something that's been happening more and more often lately. This could be the first sign of the AI taking over. Well, the first mirror door we tried wasn't that great. It and had too many people partying. And then yeah. the second spot, we tried that campground. And he said he was full. But then we found a really cool mirror door, beautiful view, like about probably 300 degree view. And Graham and some pizza got to walk around a bit and they enjoyed it. And about 1 a.m. We did our best to wait it out. <laughs> yeah. Emily yeah. was holding the dog. And yeah, I was trying to pretend we weren't in here. If it's a crazy person that's gonna break the glass or something, I don't know. But yeah. he did scream like, Carabineros! Yeah, which is police. The police. Shining a super bright light right in my eyes. And he said, it's dangerous here. And I said, well, has anything happened? He said, no, no, nothing's happened. He said, you can't sleep here. I said, well, what about if we just stay at our own risk and he said no you gotta go hey let's uh go to these next io spots tried one after another 
first one was like party spot. What happened in the next spot? It wasn't actually a spot. It was just like, I think it's for tents or something. I have no idea where this person parked. Then we found this next spot, which is a beach spot. And we drove like almost all the way to the ocean. But then there were like these deep puddles. And at 2 a.m. at that point, we weren't sure like, oh, should we yeah, cross yeah. this puddle? I think we could do it. And then we'd be right by the ocean. But where we are is not bad. You know, we're about probably 100 yards from the ocean here. Not very fun being woken up by the police in the middle of the night, especially in another country this far away. But we're just gonna spend the day working and then we'll explore a little bit more tomorrow. We're just checking out the island a bit before heading to our cliffside campsite. This beach spot is known for penguins, but with aggressive boat driving, it's been said the penguins have found better refuge. Yes! Oh, this is the spot? Nice. Check this out. Tonight, stop for us. We needed this. And this cliff side is perfect. Wow, just even hanging out here in the van is so perfect. I've just watched so many baby dolphins playing in the waves. I'm pretty sure they're baby dolphins. I don't really know what they are, but they've got tiny fins and they're playing and they're really, really cute. Really, really magical place already. After the stress of the van's transmission being rebuilt, and then needing to be fixed again, we really needed to unwind and enjoy nature again with the van. So I had looked long and hard on iOverlander to find the perfect spot. And being here without any worries is really helping us. Plus, we haven't been in the ocean with the van for a while, and variety is the spice of van life. She kind of threw it. Grim, what was that? This has been our favorite campsite in Chile so far, and we've officially crossed into Patagonia. We're feeling the magic of this area already. As we crossed into this new area, it turns out that the time zone changed, and we just realized we were an hour earlier than the East Coast now.
for our beachfront breakfast today, we got potatoes and eggs, but these are vegan eggs. They're actually really good. What are these eggs made out of? Garbanzo flour. This is the perfect spot for Graham and Sombrita. They get to wander around all day and we left the door cracked so they can both come in and out if they want some water or food. One car showed up yesterday but they just went over to another spot. They didn't want to hang out here. It's pretty cool out here. We can still see structures, but really we're all by ourselves and it's very relaxing. While we were making food, we called Graham and he didn't come back. He just came back now. So it's fine if he goes and wanders around on his own. It's pretty awesome that he gets that privilege. And with our breakfast, I always use this to make coffee, the percolator from my abuela recently passed on, but she gave us so many gifts. We have probably 10 different things that my grandma gave us. Emily's a tea drinker, a filthy, dirty brown water drinker. So she uses always this thing. Oh, we're here, this island. Wow. Almost there, really. Yeah, it's crazy. Like being up here on a cliff above the ocean with these waves beating against the bottom of it. This is all just sand, like compressed sand, this cliff. Something you always want to worry about when you're parking your home. Not just how level is it, but is it safe to park here? <laughs> Hi, buddy. You can still do it though. He's got his favorite darts. Oh, the babies. Perfect last place to visit in Chile, but now the paperwork should be ready. We'll hop on the ferry back to Puerto Montt and get ready for the border together. This won't be our last time in Chile. We'll be popping back to get to our final destination in Ushuaia. We're so excited to be almost at the end of the Pan American Highway and just three years and some months since we've arrived at the top Prudho Bay, Alaska. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us to our last places in Chile. We're so excited to be crossing the border with you guys next time. Share and subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell so you'll be able to see the upcoming videos when we make our way to the end of the Pan American Highway. If you want to support us a little bit more, head over to our Patreon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.